Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it's actually been a day or two since I recorded the last episode. Um, and I have to admit, I, I turned this on just now and stared at my character for a second thinking, what in the world am I wearing? And this is, of course, my anti-poison garb, so this makes a little bit of sense. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to kind of keep the outside walls to the left and keep going around the circle. Um, I can see there's a few goodies off in the distance there, so we'll just kind of keep our eyes open. Um, and again, you know, the thing with this area is that I don't have it memorized nearly as well as the rest of the game. Um, so... Plus, you know, it's, it's a giant mess. Um, so we're gonna just kind of wander around and see if we can figure out who's trying to hurt me right now. And we're poisoned, and that's okay. Alright, so there's the ladder, actually. We'll go ahead and head that way next. Um, grab the couple of things that I can see and then go up on the left. Because that leads to kind of like the sub area with the mini bar. There's a second boss up there and a couple other things, so... Or a sub mini boss. Mini boss, we'll go mini boss. Semesta soup. Sunlight talisman. Um, and we're going to go grab that and then we'll go up the ladder. Although, uh, do I want to mess with him right now? A couple of Titanite shards. Head back over this way. This item. And again, this is the water slowing me down, for the record. Like, I would be perfectly happy to be running faster. The Nameless Knight set. And now we will go back. Oh, there's my invasion. Alright. Where are you at, Heisel? give him a minute to find me and then I'm just going to climb the ladder and not worry about him. Alright. Forget it, buddy. We're on the clock. You can come find me. So, when you go up here, there's a whole nother thing up at the top of this ladder. Bonfire. So I'm going to go ahead and rest at it because that'll take care of the poison. Maybe I can't because I'm being chased. If you pray to the old wolf, you get the legion uh, gesture and then you can join the old wolf covenant if you want to. Sure, why not? The watchdogs of Farron. Um, so as you are no doubt fully aware um, I pay no attention to this stuff. So do I really know what it means to join that covenant? No, not particularly. Head over this way. And one of these, I think I might have to go up. There's a fake door in here somewhere. Might be up here. Right here. Go in here. Grab the Dreamcatcher's ashes. And I think... Uh, he might have gotten away. 
Ah, he got away. All right, well, we'll come back and get him later. Um, I'll go ahead and hopefully Yellowfinger will be gone by the time I get back down. Uh, just to remind you, the ashes are to be given to the, uh, the vendor who is back at Firelink, and then she will have more stuff for us to buy. So let's try real quick. Hopefully Heisel has disappeared and I can actually rest at this. No? That's obnoxious. All right, well, in that case, head over here and head up. All of a sudden, it's bright and shiny. Praise the sun. All right, head up here. And we got ourselves a mini boss over there. We're gonna go this way first. Seth, is there a goodie over here? I don't even remember. No, not yet, okay. So we'll take him down first, or at least give it a shot. does have a button drop, so watch out for that. He hits pretty hard, too. Um, if you back away from him, he is pretty likely to throw stuff at now. Why do I keep letting myself get dropped? Please don't kill me. Um, he will throw stuff at you, so he's probably about to throw something at you. Oh, he got me again. Come on. I'm like the most grab. Oh! is new. I have never died in that particular embarrassing fashion. That was... Come here, you jerk. That was, uh, that was really something. I have never had him just chuck me off the edge of the world like that before. Okay. That's all right. Pull the lever. Go back up. <laughs> I'm going to make a little bit more of an effort to stay behind him this time. believe he just threw me off the edge. That is unbelievable. There's the rocks in the direction. Ow!
Okay. Oh my god! Are you freaking kidding me? I haven't been beaten by a regular boss yet. Wow. I, I gotta pop another ember. Like, I'm gonna have to farm them at some point or something because I'm running low. And if he just chucks me off the edge again... Holy cow. Like, this is usually a pretty straightforward fight. I mean, he's, you know, he's big, but... I have never had him throw me off the edge like that, and it's happened three times. Three times, twice? Doesn't matter. Too many times. This is nuts. <laughs> Excuse me. Those were my fault. That was my bad. Mm. God. Wait, what was that? I don't know what that was either. Where is... Has he been updated? Like, what? I, his entire lower body is crushed. I've never... I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I've never played this game before. <laughs> so that's how that's supposed to go. I, I I I have no explanation for any of that. I've never just crushed his lower body like that. I've never had him pitch me off a ledge like that. Um, I mean, at least I got a couple embers back out of it. Can I carry two great axes at once now? Oh, man. <laughs> I 
All right, well, we got to figure that out. That's probably, oh, yeah, that's 85% weight. There's no way I can ever actually pull that off in the game. Um, <laughs> but that might be a fun build, the double great axe build. Um, okay, so what was I actually... All right, I was using the Lizard Knight Shield. All right, so now that we've successfully finally gotten that done, um, what we're going to do is head over here. And this area is going to have a bunch of um, the... Uh, oh, my God. I am totally off today. Crystal Lizards, thank you, world. I don't know what's... Uh, yeah, I've apparently never played video games before, guys. I don't know what the deal is. This area's got a bunch of Crystal Lizards in it. Um, so, ideally, you know, you make a couple of passes through here to get them all. I'm not going to do that right now. I might grab a couple of them off camera. But there's one right here. And then there's another one over there who's probably going to disappear before I get to him. Maybe not. And then I think there's at least... Yeah, there's one more off in the distance up there. Uh, but this one's kind of a trap because you're going to get chased. There's also a bunch of hollows up here, so this one could be trouble. We'll see if I get to him. Yeah, because he's going to lead me right up past this guy. He's going to scream and bring everybody else out. Okay, dude. All right. Um, there might be one more that did disappear. I think I, there's at least those three, obviously. I'm surprised I got all three of them. Um, there might be a fourth. Oh, no. Oh, we'll get a chance to find out now. I should just edit this episode down to like one fight just to make myself look like I know what I'm doing, but unfortunately I've already talked over it, so... Alright, so this time we don't have to go anywhere near where the stray demon was, he will not come back. So we head up here. He's gone, obviously. And then we're just going to kind of keep our eyes peeled to see if uh, we can spot any additional lizards that we missed the first time. We'll be a little bit more careful working our way up, too, so that we can't uh, get surrounded again. Alright, I don't see any. Nothing on either of these platforms here, so... Yeah, just head over this way. And did I look over here to see if there was anything to grab? Okay. Um... See, that just takes you down onto the other side. There's nothing down there. And then, yeah, so long as you don't get surrounded by them, obviously. I mean, I kind of got trapped on the ledge right there, which is... Uh, 
a good thing to allow happen. And just a further illustration of the point I've made many, many times that, you know, if you screw up, you're going to get got. Alright, this guy doesn't have anything. I cannot open this door, so at this point you just got to go back up and circle back around. Um, if you look off in the distance there, you can see that is where um, we found our, uh, our boy at the beginning of the game who is giving us all those free levels. So that's where he is, just to kind of situate yourself relative to the broader map of the game. And actually I should point out here too, that's a dead dragon. Alright, so to get back, just drop down. And then we go back, just walk from where we came from. And you know what, I gotta burn another, because I still want to have that fight with Yellowfinger. Like, I do actually want to fight him at some point, and you have to be Embered to get invaded, so... Back down we go. But that's the stray demon area, that's everything. There's nothing nothing else up there to worry about. I don't think there's any real reason to rest up, but let's do it anyway. This is going to drop you. If you have reset, it's going to drop you straight down the middle of these little rooms. So you can be aware of that. There we go. And then just... Let's see, was there anything? Do I see anything that I missed? Oh, interesting. The Estus super punishes itself. I don't think I realized that. Gonna leave that for the time being, actually. There are also in this area, and I'm thinking we're pretty close to where they pop up. Um, there are also uh, the little bug eyed poison you and petrify you dudes. You gotta be careful for them. I do love the sound those guys make. Alright, I think that... That didn't work. Doesn't matter, I'm already poisoned, so rolling in the poison doesn't do any further damage there. This, I think, is just a ledge that goes up. Yeah, nothing in particular here. There's at least a goodie up there. We still need the third bonfire. And that is always the one I have trouble finding, so... clump. And actually, I think that right there is the main entrance to the level. So let's wander over there and then let's head back to the right clean up the outside area a little bit more, because I see I forgot a couple of goodies. That'll also let us heal this poison without having to actually heal it. Yes, it is. Okay, so we went in a big circle, basically. Um, and I know that we have not seen everything yet. Still some stuff out here to grab. 
some more purple moss clumps. Hopefully this will be even more purple moss clumps. Not that I'm really using them, but... Iron Flesh Spell. Ah! That was already poisoned, doesn't matter. Alright, so here's these guys. So you just gotta be careful to stay away from the gas. They're not super dangerous if they can't get you trapped in the gas, but you're slow moving right now, so... If you see that happening, get out of the way. Yeah, you can interrupt it, too, if you get hard enough, so... Worth knowing. And there is also a spot over here where there is another giant crab and another opportunity for your buddy, Mr. Helbo, to throw some spears for you. Not where I want to be. Okay, got lucky. Uh, that goodie off in the distance you cannot get from here. You have to get it from the next area. So that one that just went behind the tree right there, we cannot get yet. But this is going to be the third tower. So basically, from the main entrance, head left for the first two, and head right for the third. And there's my invasion. See if we can get that dealt with before Yellowfinger finds us. A couple of homeward bones, always useful. So as soon as you get this done, you can leave the area. There's not a boss to fight down here in the swamp, unless you count the Stray Demon, and the Stray Demon obviously is optional. You don't ever have to even go up there. Um, but as soon as that third bonfire on the right lights up, now that door will open, and that's where we're going to head next. And I think we're at 28 and a half minutes, so hopefully I can take down Heisel on the first try. And then we can get on out of here. Or at least start to get on out of here. So if we head down this way, I just want to see if I can kind of triangulate. Okay, so that's where we saw him and them off in the distance. You can see there's now two of the giant deer-headed staff-carrying guys. We kind of avoided them, which is how we did not, how we managed to not see this. But it's safer and easier to approach it from the other direction, so you may as well go ahead and do that. Alright, so where is my boy? There he is. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. God, he can just stop complaining. And He's 
gonna get me. not my episode all right we are gonna go ahead and call this right now and ignominiously on defeat um and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back off to the right i'm actually gonna pick up right from where my souls were um probably embered again because i still do want to beat this dirty little bastard um and i think we've still got a couple of goodies to pick up so pick up right there. We'll see you soon if for some reason you actually enjoyed watching me get killed over and over again. Leave a like and a subscribe. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't on this one. One way or another, thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.